Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy BPTMT. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about the MPC Lod 2 connected to an iPad Pro M1, controlling it from an any MIDI controller using Scalar 2, that is, Scalar 2. This is a very cool workflow for what I'm about to show you on a professional level and having the portability to record at a very high level. Let's check it out. All right, so what you're going to need to do this type of recording for your MPC to be connected to an M1 iPad Pro, you're going to need this tool, a tool like this. I'll put a link in the description box so you can choose one, something that's similar to this, or if you can get one of these. This is a USB-C dongle that has multiple ports so you can connect things to it so what you're going to do is take this part here of course plug it into the iPad and then take that this port and you're going to run it in here I don't know if you can see that on my screen you're going to put it right here on where you see the Thunderbolt connection that's so you can get power to run it back into your MIDI controller I'm using Arteria Keylab or Keystep that is, you can use any MIDI controller with this. And the way we're going to connect to this is going to be through Bluetooth. And I'm going to show you that right now, how to connect your Bluetooth to the iPad. Okay, the first thing you need to do to get this set up is make sure your ports are connected. So as you can see here, I have my... Thunderbolt USB power. We're going to put it in right here. So it's got like a little lightning. I don't know if you can see that little lightning display. So that's giving you your power to your iPad Pro. And this cable here is connected to your power outlet. You take this USB port and you run it into your MIDI controller. Once you got that set up, the next thing you need to do is come on over to the MPC. I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see that. And the first thing you got to do is go to Preferences. Now, if you're on the main screen, you, your screen may look like this or may look like that. You just got to go to your... This is... Uh, before I jump into this, this is the 2.11 update on the MPC Live 2. So what you're going to do is go to your preferences. You see, I got a little shortcut here I made on mine. If I can go to my, you know, different things, save, new project. But that's besides the point. Let's just go into the main menu. And you can see where I got my shortcut here. And I'm going to go here and press preferences. And then you want to go to Bluetooth. And you can see, you know, if your iPad, whichever iPad you're using, doesn't have to be a Pro, uh, just a regular iPad, iPad Mini, whatever. You just got to make sure the Bluetooth is connected. And you can see here, mine says it's connected. Okay? So... I'm going to show you now what you need to do inside of Scalar to make everything function. So, I'm going to have to go like this. So, what you're going to do, you going to click on the cog wheel. Let me do that again so you can catch it. You see at the very bottom, Bluetooth MIDI settings. You touch that, and you can see how I got mine set up already for your input. You got to know, know this because I had a hard time figuring this out because I didn't know that this moves. So whatever, how many MIDI ports or whatever, how many MIDI connections you got, it should show in your input here. Mine, of course, is the Arteria 
key step 37. And then on your output, you want to make sure that it's going to your NPC live for your output. Once you do that, you're golden. You're all set up to go. You see, I got sound. I got sound playing on my NPC. And I can play the chords that I got set with Scalar. Now, one thing I, 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 this is what I recommend doing this is because, you know, you can control the sound in your NPC. The sound that you're hearing is not coming out of the iPad. It's not coming out of that. The sound that you're hearing is coming from this. That's the purpose of doing the Bluetooth setup. And you can see here, I got Fabric. This is the NPC Live 2 Update 2.11. Which gave you more gives you more sound capability, um, but it's cool because you know you got they got pretty good sound now in their you know in their update um, playing you know as far as playing back the stuff here you know the fabric pianos and you can hear how good that sounds sounds really awesome and you know you it just opens up a lot of doors for creativity creativity I should say so there you have it this is uh, the setup for connecting your iPad to the Akai MPC Live 2 using Scalar Scalar is a whole different ball game when it comes to playing your chords back and of course I'm using the Arturia keys key step you know to control your MIDI and you can use any MIDI controller for this, by the way. But this is what I'm using for portability. And it's really great. I mean, of course, you know, your power, you want some power on your iPad. And if you want to be outside with it, you know, most MIDI keyboards, you don't have to use uh, power. I don't think this one, I think, I don't, because I got it plugged into my wall outlet, but if you did, if you had to go that route to get power, just get a power, a battery, extend external battery, that would work. You know, in some cases, some MIDI controllers don't require that much power. So that's pretty much it. If you like the video, and you want to see more exclusive content like this, please don't hesitate to hit the like and subscribe button and that notification bell for more content. Also, if you don't mind helping the channel, donation would be great. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, BPTMT, back at you again with another one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out.